Hello there and welcome to another video presentation from Easy as Accounting Software. If we go from where we left off at, if we have a look at the invoice screen, we've come back here. Let's say during the month we receive a payment for an invoice that we sent to a customer. We can click here to record that payment having been received and at the same time send the money to our income all in one go. If I click here, say we've received this payment, I'm going to click payment received payment received yes add it to income yes if I click no it will just jump back to the screen and we did, didn't go over to the income at all um, if I was to go to the income section we would not see any income recorded so I can click this again make it no click it back again make it yes I want to send this to the in income why would you not send it to income I've got no idea why you wouldn't but if you didn't send it to income you'd have to go to the income screen and do the entry from there so I'm going to click yes, I'm going to send that to income and you want to record it against the invoice anyway. If I click yes, this screen here will pop up and it says complete the transfer details to the income. It's put today's date here, so naturally we're going to use the date we were paid. Let's say we were paid on the 9th, 9th of the 9th. The method received was cash and that's it. Now, here we have these two additional boxes coming up because on the income screen we have allowed for additional columns okay I'll jump back and show you that in a minute if we did not have the two additional columns turned on you would not see these two lines you would only see this and this what this does is this if this client has paid for the whole of the amount he owes us if I cancel this white I'm going to cancel this okay I'm not going to do that I'm going to cancel it he owes us $115.50 okay if he pays for that complete amount, you don't have to do anything else but click OK on that screen. I'm going to turn these columns off so I can show you what I meant, what I wanted to show you a minute ago. So we don't have the extra columns turned on. If I go back into the invoices and I make this send a payment, yes. Send an income, yes. See there, this appeared now. Okay, so we don't have them turned on if we don't want them. I'll send him an invoice. So let's say he paid me a check. Today's date. Let's make it the ninth as we did before. He paid us everything. We don't need to look at it. We know he's paid us everything. Enter the date on there. Enter the method received and press done. That's it. Do you want to print the receipt? Yes or no? Oh, okay. In this case, I'm going to print a receipt. Let's just happen and see what happens. I print the receipt. It's going to send it to my PDF so we can see what it looks like. And we've already seen this before. If you've looked at the other invoice, the other videos. And there is the receipt. In this particular video, because I've turned on the logos, it will print with your logo, whatever your logo will be, and off you go. So you can give that to the customer. Right, what I want to show you now, see this little dot here, a little asterisk on the screen. If it's got one asterisk there, we know straight away, by looking at this particular entry, that this guy has paid us in full, and we sent that already to the income. That's what that tells me on the screen. If I click on the help here, this will tell you what this is all about. If you read here and read here, one dot tells you that. Two dots is separate. If it's got two dots after it, I'll give you an example of that in a second. Okay, so now that's gone here. Let's have a quick look at this. If I jump out of here, and I'll go to the income. I'm going to click the last income entry that was made because I know that because this was the last income entry. Look at this. It tells us it's from invoice 452. It's good. He got his name there. Now, I didn't type that in. And I didn't type the amount. And the amount of $115.50 was the exact amount. See that? I put two things in there. I put the date and the check. or how the method. And it did the rest for me. Because we told it he was paying in full. And away we went. If I double click on here now. It will go back to the invoice screen and I can look at that invoice. So say if for some reason we're going down our list of income, if I put all this back on the screen, if we have a look down here, we might have heaps and heaps of particular invoices here and we're looking for something specific and we see an amount here, we don't know what that was for. We can quickly, instead of exiting, instead of exiting this screen, opening this up, going to the number, it's really simple because we can just jump in here and we can click on the actual entry itself, click on the number, and it will automatically 
show us the invoice screen with only that invoice. It will get rid of all other invoices off the screen and say, this is that invoice. Have a look at it. And we go, oh, that's right. That's what it was for. We can exit that. The moment we exit back out of here, it takes us back to where we were on the income screen. See how great it is? It jumps around for you. Okay, we go back to invoices. What happens next? See this here? Because we've already paid, if I click this particular button, yes, it brings up here and it says, you've previously recorded this entry as being paid in full. It shows me the entry in the income anyway. So we get to see the entry in the income. We don't have to go to the income screen, but it works backwards and forwards. From here, we can see the income. From the income, we can see the invoices. Really simple. It does have a remark button in case you accidentally, um, in case the customer suddenly didn't pay in full. You can actually click that and change the invoice. Let's say you altered an invoice. You edited an invoice and added an extra amount to it for some reason. You can click this and mark it as invoice not paid in full. Normally, in most circumstances, once they've paid the invoice, it's paid and there's nothing else to be altered on it. Let's look at this guy. Let's say that Bill Smith isn't paying the full amount. Let's say he said to you, look, I can only pay you half the invoice now. I'm going to pay you the balance in another 14 days. Is that okay? And you go, yep, that's fine. So let's say he paid us $200 to make it simple. I'm going to click payment received, yes. Send it to income. I'm going to say he sent us a check. Because he's paying a partial invoice, I'm going to click this here. I'm going to activate this bottom section of the screen. Now that I've turned this on, each time this comes up now, I'll show you this is always permanently going to be there unless I turn it back off. The moment you enter any amount down here, the system automatically knows that this is the partial invoice. If I click the calculation button again and we say he paid us $200 off that invoice, it works out how much should be accredited to GST or sales tax and how much isn't. If there's no sales tax, well then you don't need to have sales tax. You just make the manual entry in that line then don't you? If there's no sales tax for that invoice, just make it zero and put the 200 there like that. Too easy. In this case we know this sales tax. I enter that. I click done. This here tells us how much the original invoice was. See that? Tells us the amount of the original invoice there. This is here. If I click done, print a receipt. I'm not going to this time. See there's two dots there now? That two dots tells me automatically that that invoice received a partial payment for. The invoice hasn't been finished. It isn't marked as payment in full. If I click payment received, yes, it's waiting for us to put another payment in there. And it tells us the last payment we received was this. Now, I can go ahead now. Let's say it's two weeks further on and we'll receive the rest of the money from him. I can click this here and I can put in here how much we received. In this case, we know that he owes us um, $233.17. Okay, so we'll go $233.17 because I know he owes us that. I click OK and um, I click Finish and it's finished that transaction. You will notice though, right now, although the amounts are equal, we've still got two dots. It does not automatically change that. You have to manually tell it to do that. It does that specifically for a reason because, because the system can't automatically update this process. So if we click this again and we can go, okay, well we know this has been paid in full. All we've really got to do now is mark this invoice as paid in full. If we click this, it's marked it, it's been, status has been changed, it's marked in full and we're back to one. See that? Now if I click this, it tells us payments are received in full. We only see one entry on the screen here, but if we enlarge it, it will show us there has been two payments paid for this invoice. Simple as that. That's all I need to show you for that. I'm going to exit out of this, in this particular video and come back to another one.